What is up, everybody? Gilly Sniper 99 here, bringing you the next episode in our Minecraft Let's Play. Now you are right now seeing what is going in, going on in my head right now, which is a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> just kidding. Hey guys. Uh, anyways, just got back from my vacation, which was a lot of fun. Uh, went to Branson, Missouri, saw some awesome shows like the Dixie Stampede and stuff like that. If you've never been, definitely should go check it out. But anyways, back to Minecraft. Now we are running the, let's see if we can, oh, let's get back into our little area right here. Oh, had a little glitch there. F3, if you look up in the top uh, left-hand corner, we are in uh, Snapshot 14W31A. Now, there has been a lot of snapshots since I have posted a video last, and I am sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, my favorite addition to this is banners. You can now make uh, banners, which you do by making a sign, except for with wool. Now we have a white banner. And what's cool about this is that you have a nice little white banner. Let's see, let's see if we can pull it out. And I'm pretty sure you can place it down and destroy it again. See now it's a nice little white banner, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's about the size of our player, if you can see that. Looks like a little artist board. <laughs> um, anyways, let's see. What do you use to destroy it? Okay, well I guess anything. Um, anyways, so you have this banner now. And now if you go into a crafting table again, you can actually edit it. See, like I have blue lapis, and if uh, you can see it makes a stripe, or if we go, I guess right there, it makes one corner. Um, there is a way to do an X, I believe, no. Eh, I haven't checked out all of them. If you want a complete description of the actual, there we go, okay stripe you got a stripe color right there and then you take the stripe you take this banner out of there and then put it in again and do the same thing for another stripe across it which is pretty cool if you want to like a Scottish flag going on there um, then you can also do like across the top um, and pull it out and make another one across the bottom for you know side stripes um, but anyways if you want a full description of the banners and stuff uh, Doc M does a nice description of uh, what all you can do with banners if you put um, mob heads like um, that you get from killing mobs you can get um, oh yes now in the update you can also um, get like skeleton heads and creeper heads and stuff from them dropping and if you combine them with a banner it'll put like a creeper head on there it'll keep put a creeper face and a skeleton will put like a skull and crossbones and stuff like that really cool update um, yeah anyways we are going to make this into um, if you guys have checked out my mountain blade warband series uh, following Edgar Oakenshield on his way to conquering Colradia you should definitely check it out but we are going to go ahead and try to make his banner which is just, I believe it's two lines like that. Yeah, I believe it's two um, blue and then one white in the middle. I don't think it's a white on the outside and blue in the middle. Yeah, it's definitely two blue um, like that. So we are going to go ahead and take that. And we're going to go ahead and make one more. So we can make it even. Just like so. Well, let's take this. All right, and boom. Now let's put these out here. Oh, let's sleep first. Really quickly. Um, anyways, as I was saying, you can get uh, different mob heads, and now the electrified creeper, the Electri uh, electronically charged creeper from a lightning strike when the lightning hits the ground and uh, strikes a creeper. Um, those creepers that are electrified now have a point. If you get that creeper in a pit with a bunch of other mobs, it's a guaranteed chance that they will drop their head. So if you want a bunch of heads, you just plop uh, a bunch of, you just put um, like our mob farm right here, which is going wonderfully. You can uh, just stop it up to where they just uh, hit the ground without dying, which it sounds like someone did. Yep. Oh, okay, you're on chicken. Well, that doesn't count. Okay, um, anyways, well, you just get them to where they won't die, and you pop them in the pit with the electrified creeper and get the creeper to blow up, like hit them with a uh, 
flint and steel, and you'll get a bunch of mob heads, which is amazing. Um, let's try to plop these down here. Nice. Look at that. Now we've got banners from Edgar Oakenshield and our Mountain Blade Warband series in our Minecraft, which is awesome. I like how they look. That is awesome. And you can destroy them. I'm pretty sure you can just destroy them with your hand, too. Yep, you can destroy them with your hand. And it does affect the way you place them. It does affect, like, how they're... Oh, and they do have a nice visual effect. Like, how they move. That's cool. Um, but you can place them any which way. We'll push them, place them straight for right now. That is awesome. And you can do it with any kind of dyes and make a lot of different patterns. Really cool, really cool. And also in the update, um, the Minecraft like rendering is completely redone. So in the old rendering, you would see... All right, see how the water level, you can see all these blocks underneath it. Well, um, in the old rendering, it's like this, except for um, like on... Uh, in normal land, it would like it, since I'm looking this way, in the old updates, in the old snapshots and and uh, game updates, like before 1.8, well, 1.8 isn't out, out yet. Well, 1.7 and below, um, the every single block um, up into your render distance, including down to bedrock that is in your view, will be rendered. Um, but now it's only blocks that you can see so I'm guessing on the other side of this hill there's no blocks rendered until I get up there which also means a really cool thing has happened we can now switch our um, let's see how do you do that video settings was it yeah render distance apparently you can go to 32 chunks 16 maybe I'm not on the 64 you have to be on the 64 bit but I thought I am or I thought I was I don't know, I'll have to check that out, um, see, because I downloaded both, I'm pretty sure I run on 64-bit, but I'll have to check it out, because I'm pretty sure that um, I can run it, and I really want to do 32, but hopefully in the next episode we can get 32 running, because it would be cool, really cool if we could get 32 running on here, let's see what that looks like, yeah, it's... All right, okay. Well, we'll put it back for the time being. Um, try to get, uh, we'll put it to 12. Uh, anyways, I will try to get it on 64-bit because I know I can run it and run it beautifully. And so we'll try to get 32 um, chunks out there and at least to look at it. Probably won't be able to keep our game on it because it will lag, um, but hopefully not too bad. Okay, so since last episode, haven't done a whole lot because I've been on vacation. Um, just kind of open this pit a little bit, and um, this thing has been running perfectly. I've been down here to get the drops a little bit, but I thought today that we could um, get a pit going on this thing, uh, get a collection system going on it. And also, um, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, okay, so we're going to get a um, collection pit going down there and whatnot. So that's what we're going to work on right now. Uh, this is 16 blocks st uh, straight drop to here. And going down here, if we can kill this guy. Alright, and die. Oh, there goes another guy. Uh, this is 23 block drop. So we are going to go ahead and drop this to... Uh, 23 is actually, I think 21 is the what you need to drop it to for them to die, so I honestly think that'll be good. So we will actually just keep them, keep it right here, and just dig it out a little bit. And probably dig the floor out also. Okay, so it is right here. Hmm. I'm one hopper short. I thought it was a four pit. Four drop pit, but I am mistaken. But we'll deal with that later. Um, anyways, also, a little update. I am shortening my videos. I'm going to try and have this be about 15 minutes or so. Uh, because I just... Uh, I didn't know this before, but uh, for you guys to actually, like look up Minecraft like on YouTube and actually see my videos for them to actually come up 
Um, you guys have had, like, should have to, um, the first ones that come up are the ones that have been watched the most. Like, not as in view count, but as in, um, as in, like, actually, like, how many minutes out of the whole episode. Like, my, my episodes are, like, 30 minutes if you only watch... 10 minutes of it then people other episodes who watch have people watch 90% of their episode will be ahead of me so I don't want you guys to have to sit through all of my episodes which I understand that can be pretty boring um, so we are going to change that try to uh, just fit the most important content in here and get it down to like 15 minutes and that will also be for my other, uh, we're gonna put that that way, actually. Um, that'll also be for our other, um, let's plays, like, uh, Mountain Blade. I'll probably cut that down to, like, 30 minutes. It'll be shorter, less content in it, um, because it is a let's play, but it will have to do. So, yeah, uh, comment on you think, if you think that, uh, 15 minutes is gonna be alright for the Minecraft series, or what you think of it and how you think I'm doing on that. Alright guys, well I will be right back. Uh, I'm going to get more of the materials that I need and probably um, yeah I'll get more of the materials and then I'll meet you back right here. So I will see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, I am back and ready to build. Now I build, just got this little staircase going through here. This is probably where we're going to have the entrance. I don't know. We could keep it underground. I'm not sure. I brought some stairs with me just so we can decide on that later. And I did fill this in with um, with a hopper. Now one just did spawn, so we know it is working, which is awesome. And also, um, I am really happy with the way that the... Uh, the gas does turn did turn out. I did take off the rest of the the um, dirt on the side, the dirt scaffolding. Uh, still not too happy about the signs right there, but you know what can you do? Uh, if you do have anything that can fix that problem, like any discreet way of keeping it like that, then go ahead and put that in the comments below. I'd gladly hear it and tell me if you think we should change the top. Um, at least the top edging. It does look a little stupid, I understand, but, you know, gotta keep mobs off the top. <laughs> Alright. So let's jump down here. So I was thinking that we would do blue to cover the actual um, the actual thing itself, and we should honestly put the chest underneath. That might be the best idea. Let's do that. And we'll break you and put it like this where'd you go there you are all right and just for fun we'll break you okay there we go so now it goes under there awesome awesome We'll put a stair like that so we can still access it. And now we will try to play around with... We'll get some space in here. Get a little claustrophobic. If that's even possible in Minecraft. Don't know. Alright. And we'll just put those right... Nope right along there and see we can still access the chest hopefully no can we not well, that's not good oh dur ha huh. it's got to be an upside down stairs like that there we go that'll be easily accessible so just have to aim right into the middle of those that doesn't look too bad I don't know, we might change that later. Um, let's see, let's get the glass in here. Hmm. Might do a little bit of a lighter blue. Per 
perhaps. We'll think about that all later. I don't know, I like the blue, but it looks a little bit too dark for what we're going for. Which I'm not really sure we're, what we're going for at this point, but still. <laughs> Hmm. All right, well, let me play around with this, all of this off camera a little bit, and I will see you guys in a little bit. See ya. What is up, everybody? I am back, and I just love the way those flags look. They look amazing. Let's see if we can get over there. And I really like how they move back and forth. That is a really cool addition. I am so glad they added the flags. I like how you can see the back of them. They even look like they have rope on them. That is so cool to me. At least I believe so. And anyways, just wanted to show you guys. I finished the collection chamber for this place. Uh, let's put this up here. We have um, these cobblestone walls so you can't jump over. And so it just looks kind of cool. And made a little pattern all the way down on each wall here and it goes down to a um, three by three uh, area um, collection pad I guess so that they can here's one now so they can fall down and die and here's a little entrance I can change it uh, I don't know I'm pretty happy with it so leave uh, a comment in the comment section saying what you think of this and yeah so I made use of the granite the actual cracked granite I kinda like that I actually do like it and it looks nice I think and there is one problem with that oh man you are loud let's go ahead and kill you so you can stop being so loud with a shovel okay that's one thing I definitely need to turn down my volume next time uh, anyways that went there let's wait we need you there all right. Anyways, made a little design on the ceiling and the walls. I I like the look of the actual smooth stone with the um, polished andesite. I like that. And anyways, as that cave noise goes away, let's go ahead and turn down my sound. Sorry about that. I should have had that turned down. Anyways. Okay. Anyways. Um, so you come down here and uh, last time I was having a little trouble accessing the chest so just put a trap door which I thought matched the white the uh, door right uh, a lot so I put that there with a uh, little pressure pressure plate so we can access the chest really easily and oh, there's a polish inside I'll take that um, anyways this is just what I've gotten here from I cleaned it out before I showed you guys uh, because I wanted a fresh start, this is just in a couple minutes of what has dropped here. So I've gotten a lot of creepers, which is kind of amazing. Uh, creepers have been ca uh, catching up with the actual amount of zombies I've had. And I just got a fire protection helmet, I guess, from that guy. And, oh yes, I did switch out the glass. Um, we had a dark blue, or it was just blue, but this is light blue stained glass, and I do like it better. I think it goes with the white and the gray a little bit better. Uh, yeah, so tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, tell me what you think of my designs and what do you think of the collection chamber. Now we do have a little bit more time, I believe, so I'm going to go ahead and put these 50 levels to use. We have, um, I have been building up, let's see, which just, oh yes, sugarcane. I've been building up a lot of that and a lot of leather from our um, killing chamber, our suffocation chamber. So we are going to go ahead and put these, where are they, these 11 diamonds to use that we have right here. And we are going to make our first diamond pick and also our first um, enchanting table. So I'll go ahead and get that set up off camera. And so we can try to limit this to be as small a video as possible. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys when that is done and then we'll do some enchanting. All right, see you guys. All right, guys, I am back, and I am ready to do some extreme, well, not really extreme, but everything's extreme that we do, some extreme 
enchanting. Now I've got a little setup right here. Um, it's not going to last, of course. We're going to actually start to make this place look like a village. We're going to, um, next episode, probably build a house for for this, build a little bit of a library to house this and maybe some other things. I'm not sure. But, because uh, my eventual plan for this is to be a village and get villagers. So we might end up getting villagers next episode or the episode after that. Not sure. But either way, we have a stack of lapis. And I have never used this enchanting system before. But we've got a couple iron picks, one diamond pick, and a couple shovels to do. Plus some books. So we'll go ahead and do our diamond pick first so we can do one lapis and one enchantment level for a level four two lapis and two enchantment levels so two levels out of my 50 for a 15 or three and three for 30 so we are just going to go ahead for three so now we're down to 47 and um, 61 lapis and we got fortune two and efficiency four it's pretty good unfortunately we didn't get the um, added uh, effect of the durability one cannot remember what that was uh, what that is at the moment but we'll go ahead and get some more in here efficiency four that's all right not the best unbreaking three that's what I wanted so that is a really good work pick right there let's see if we can get another one in there efficiency four all right, so we'll get some use out of those. Efficiency four. Unbreaking, that's a good work shovel. Efficiency three, that's crap. Ah, and we ran out of levels to do level 30. Let's see if we can go over and kill, whoop. Let's see if we can kill some of these sheep. Oh, we can go right through there. I wonder if they can fit through there. I don't know. Die. Come here, gray one. And so close. Oh, one more should do it. Yes. Alright, so book or shovel? I say we've already enchanted quite a bit of shovels, so let's just go for a book and see what we get. There we go, and put in our things. Boom! And the grand reveal. Efficiency 4! Haha, <laughs> dang. Okay, so out of the enchanting we did today, we got efficiency 4 and fortune 2 on a diamond pick. That's the only fortune we got. But. Uh, we got a good work pick and a good work shovel. Other than that, everything is pretty much crap. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we got quite a bit done today. Let's see if I can face it. There we go. We got quite a bit done today with the sun setting and everything. Sorry, it's been quite a while. Had vacation and whatnot. So here we go. <laughs> All right. Join me for the next episode. Oop, and there went a witch. <laughs> All right, so join me for the next episode. Please hit like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me put out videos, helps me get them to you all faster and whatnot. So hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.